A helical compression spring is to be cycled between 150 pounds and 300 pounds with a 1 inch stroke. The number of cycles is low, so fatigue is not an issue. The coil must fit in a 2.1 inch diameter hole with a 0.1 inch clearance all the way around the spring. If the spring uses oil tempered wire with squared and ground ends and using a spring index of 7, is it possible to design a spring that meets all of our design requirements? This is the third example for the spring's design main video. Links to the previous examples in the main video are in the description below. Starting with a factor of safety of 1.2, the one restriction we should never overlook, we see that the shearing stress should be the shearing yield strength divided by 1.2. Since the shearing yield strength is a function of the ultimate strength and the ultimate strength a function of the wire diameter, we'll find the wire diameter first. The outer diameter should be 1.9 inches because of the stated clearance requirement and we know that it's also equal to capital D plus D. Since the coil diameter is 7 times the wire diameter, we can find the wire diameter. With this wire diameter, we find the ultimate tensile strength, the shearing yield strength and therefore the maximum shearing stress. Solving for the maximum force that generates the maximum shearing stress and noticing that we need KB and capital D, we see that that force is equal to 211.25 pounds. This is the force required to bring the spring to its solid length, so it would be impossible to subject it to a fluctuating force that goes from 150 to 300 pounds. By using a smaller spring index, we can increase the force required to bring the spring to its solid length. However, this poses a second problem. Since the spring constant needs to be 150 pounds per inch, the number of active coils to reach that spring constant would be huge. This iterative process can be carried out with the help of Excel or a MATLAB code. I encourage you to do this on your own, but to answer the question here, the code would tell us that a spring index of 5.62 would in fact cause the maximum force to be just over 300, but the total number of coils would still be over 15 which isn't ideal. To fully describe this spring, we would need the free length, but again, it would be less than ideal. And not only because the total number of coils is more than 15, but because like we studied in the main video, you don't want your operation force to be more than 7 eighths of the force required to bring the spring to its solid length. This is all to say that the design would just not be possible. Like I said before, I encourage you to do this process yourself. Thanks for watching.